high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mat. And even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he'll try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that octagon. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man. So here we go, round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for the fight fans around the world. And gonna be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's gonna try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Big push lands through the middle. They're certainly getting after it early. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> nice uppercut. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Nice. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Just missed with the left there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, nice punch there by Choi. Checks the leg kick, and he landed the right hand there. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. Both fighters throwing heat now. Pretty good right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Just out of range with that right hook. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Well-placed kick there by Phil. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful strike. 
Felder's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, nice. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. Oh, strong punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh. Caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big kick lands. Oh, beautiful job to get the takedown late in the round. He is about as conditioned as it gets. He's not looking at the clock necessarily. He's not running clock all offense all the time. He knew he was going to wrestle, and he knew he may have to wrestle early and often. And right now, this situation is often because he's, he's been attempting takedowns over and over again. He finally gets one as we get to the end of the round. Back to the feet now. Oh, some more collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Felder gets in the clinch yet again. Let's see if he can get the offense going here. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. That was some serious precision striking on display in the previous round. Found his openings upstairs and closed the show. He has landed at an alarming rate. His opponent needs to get his head off the center line. He's walking into him with his head straight up, not moving, trying to engage without changing the angles. That is why he is getting brutalized right now. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Nice punch, Lance. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Choi. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, who's able to get him down there? Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got suspended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Get yourself to the side, scramble, scramble, scramble. Let's work, guys. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Fighters back to their feet here. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss with this hook. He's doing a good job of setting it up, fading out a jab, and then throwing the hook around his opponent's high guard. Oh, effective strike there by Felt. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Defense there, huge block for him. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. This is such a fast leg kick. Oh, well, you know about his kicks, they are on point this evening. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Try to establish that jab. Some of the best kicks in the game that you'll see right there. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? Felder's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. And he's back up. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. Real quick leg. Oh! Huge right hand! What a round! Saved by the bell, the round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Beautiful punch. Just misses there with the left. Nice slip to avoid the left. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Nice jab by Choi. Look at the force behind that leg. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Nice punch by Felton. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. <laughs> Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Elbow. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Some nice back and forth action here. Yeah, he's fixing it all up. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. 
Clay's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. The Korean Superboy gets tagged again. He better fix the defense here and quickly. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. Attack. Strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Oh! Oh, he's got him right here. Oh, he might be out. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. The Korean Superboy ground and pound from half guard. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you've got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. you got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. I mean, this is his game here. Control your opponent's posture, land those nice elbows around, the, around this guard. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. And there's the shot, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double. Oh. That's three oh. rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs, that is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they barely broke in a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. right now, John. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Effective punch there by Felder. Straight right hand now just misses. Big kick land. Connects with a right. Switch knee lands to the body. And they separate. Fixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good punch lands. Misses with the right hand. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Visibly limping here. And 
just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. What a punch. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Wow. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters you have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom, nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Back to his feet. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Felton. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. There's no give on that leg kick. It looked like it did start a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice. Nice. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Good side for him there. Oh, that's a nice stretch. Huge shots there! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Close guard. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by the Korean Super Bowl. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Big kick. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Nice punch by Felt. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice high kick. Punch over the top. Throwing that jab, no good. Block there. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Wow! Oh! oh. 
Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Nice punch here. Here's the kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Three minutes now to go to decide this one. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Let's go. I want that over here now. And just misses with that big right hand. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of round number five. We're going to win by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Chong. And there is the man.